keep asking me about that album, just stop coming to my page. Coming out this year, I said that. That's all I'm going to say. It's coming out this year. So Juice World's final posthumous album, The Party Never Ends, is still up for debate for when it officially comes out. But we're now in October and we still don't have any updates about the album yet. All we just know that it's coming out soon, whatever that means. Coming soon, man. But what's really pissing me off about this album rollout is the people that's controlling his music. Especially Lil Bibby. This nigga is the worst manager, worst label exec, a terrible communicator. Then he wonders why a lot of Juice World fans hate him so much. He's always lying about a release date for no reason. He stays hyping up the fans just to have them disappointed. And then for some reason, this dude always likes saying soon. Coming soon, man. And I start to sit up there and think, like, why is this dude in control of Juice World's music? Besides the first posthumous album, he's done nothing but ruin his legacy. And all he do now is complain about Juice World fans asking him for an update about his next album, which you know it's his job to do that, and that's why he's getting paid all this money. But I'm getting to a point now where I'm starting to get fed up with Juice World's team, and I'm starting to wonder, do they just care about the money and just say fuck the fans because i swear no other deceased artist has this problem except juice world there was a moment in time when a lot of people hated bibby i used to be one of his defenders and this is around the time when he dropped his first posthumous album legends never die which i thought was a great cohesive album that was put together really well and i felt like at that time juice world's team was making all the right decisions not only for his legacy but also for his fan base when at one point in time they was transparent with him and keeping him up to date when it came to this album rollout and there were toxic juice world fans mad at bibby for not dropping the songs they wanted him to drop on the album or blaming him for releasing all leaked songs even though they went out their ways to listen to it when it got leaked or them being upset that the album was only 18 tracks long and they wanted it to be longer which i always find quite insane because i thought the album length was perfect but juice world fans back in 2020 were the absolute worst there was nothing bibby could have done to please them they always got mad at him for releasing leaked tracks i remember it being so bad that i became a defender of Bibby and I used to think like damn I wish these fans knew how hard Bibby's job was cuz imagine you start your own record label then you gotta find artists to break them into the mainstream and once you find that one unicorn rapper who had the talent skills of juice worlds you instantly sign him cuz you know you found a diamond in the rough he takes off and become a superstar rapper having multiple top 10 hits multiple platinum singles and albums and becoming a household name and then suddenly he dies out of nowhere at the peak of his career where the pressure falls on you to not only continue his music career but also evolve it and take it to the next level with the music he's left behind for him to be solidified as a legend that's not an easy thing to manage or deal with especially when you got thousands of fans wanting thousands of different things so you just find yourself in a position not pleasing everybody and no matter what you do you always get scrutinized and i was one of them people like bibby is doing the right thing and i appreciate the effort that he was putting out and doing even if he wasn't doing everything i wanted him to do or putting all the songs i wanted to be on that album at that time, I appreciate the fact that he was putting out music and being transparent with the fans despite all the pressure he had on him. Cause now he don't do shit and then he gets mad when he gets called out about it. If you want people to stop asking you about this new album, there's a simple resolution to that. Give them a release date or shut up. Coming soon, man. But these are my thoughts and opinions on this whole baby situation and him being annoyed at Juice World fans for asking him about this album. Yes, sounds crazy as hell and don't even make sense. But y'all be sure to let me know y'all pins down below in this situation. And do you think fans should stop asking Baby updates about this new Juice World album? Even though the last official update that he gave us was back in February, where he first announced that this would be Juice World's final album. Or do you think he tripping? This is his job to do that. Y'all be sure to let me know, cause I'm confused about this. Like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Have a nice day. I love Baby, man. Stop saying fuck Baby. You know? <laughs>